Hey what's up everyone hope you are all doing well. In this video I am gonna tell you how I made this forest in blender. Well before starting anything, first step is to collect some references. Now for making something like this, of course we need photorealistic assets which is very hard to create manually. That's why I am gonna use Nisar Guide On. It contains all variety of high quality vegetation assets that you need for making awesome renders. It comes in 3 variety pack based on the prices. And not only this, it comes with various features like particle scatter, randomizing rotation and a lot more. The installation process is very simple. First you need to purchase the add-on from the link given in the description and download all the files. From all the downloaded files, extract the part 1 in a specific folder. Now open Blender and under Edit, click on Preferences. Click on the Install button on the top right corner. Select the add-on zip file and click on Install add-on. Once you are done with the installing, you need to specify the path where you extracted all the files. And after successful installing, press N and you can see a Nisarga V2 side panel. From here you can select whichever tree you want and spawn them in your scene. Ok now the first thing we need to do is to add a plane. Press Shift A and click on plane. Press N and under dimensions, give it a size of 100 x 100. Then press tab to enter the edit mode, right click and subdivide it. Give the subdivision value around 100. Now go to modifier section and add a subdivision surface modifier and apply it. Now we need to sculpt the plane. Enter sculpt mode and manually sculpt the plane for introducing some distortion. Now for textures I went to textureheaven.com which is now polyheaven and downloaded this appropriate soil texture. Then create a new material, select principal shader and press ctrl shift and p and select all the material then click on principal texture setup and this will set up the node arrangement for you. Now we need to add a camera. Press Shift A and click on camera. Now grab it and reposition it. Observing the references, it is pretty clear that the shot here is a wide angle shot. That's why in the camera settings, decrease the focal length to around 28. Now we need to add some assets. Press N and click on the Nisarga panel. Then select the asset you need. Click on cursor to spawn the asset where the cursor is. And finally, click on add asset. If the asset spawns above the ground, there is an option named as snap asset to ground which will automatically position the asset to the ground. Also you can use particle system by first selecting the surface as the plane. Then click on the add scatter system. Now this will scatter the grass all over the plane. To specify the area, click on paint density and paint the area where you want the grass. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using geometry node instead of manually placing using particle system. So initially add all the assets that you will need to create the environment. Also one more cool feature of this add-on is it manually places everything in their respective collection. So all the grasses will be in the grass collection and flower and trees will be in their respective collection. And yeah the quality of assets is amazing. Once you are done with importing all the assets, now we need to set up the geometry node. Click on new to create a new geometry node. Now add a point distribute node which is useful for distributing random points in the plane. Then add a point instance node which will act as an instancer. And for joining this with our plane, we need to add a join geometry node. And finally connect the setup. In point instance node, click on collection and specify the grass collection that we will be going to add first. Also for introducing the random rotation, first add an attribute randomize node. Specify the attribute as rotation. Select the value as vector and make the max value for x and y to be 0. This will only rotate them along z axis. Now we need to specify the area where we want the grass. Under object data property, click on this plus icon to create a new vertex group. Name it as grass. Then go to weight paint mode and paint the area where you want the grass. Finally in the density attribute, we need to specify the name of vertex group that is grass and the grass will spawn in our specified area only. Also to vary the scale among grass, we need to again add an attribute randomize node. Select the value as float, specify the attribute as scale and make the minimum and maximum value ranging from 0.5 to 1. Now we need to duplicate this same arrangement for spawning of different assets like flower and bushes. Also to keep workflow more organized, you can select the node graph and press ctrl G to create a group and specify the name of the group under the node side panel. Do the same thing for the rest and this step is completely optional 
just to keep the workflow more organized. Finally, create more vertex group for different assets that you will be spawning and under weight paint mode, paint the area for the respective one. Specify the vertex group in the density attribute and select the collection which you want to spawn. Now at this point if you don't have a good PC, Blender will start crashing and you will be like That's why I use iRender rental service where you get to use their high-end computer at minimum cost which make this render possible for me. Well how it works? It's super simple. You just have to sign up using the below link and buy some points. Also, if you use the link in the description, you will get 50% bonus point on the first transaction. Then you can select the type of remote PC you want to create. For high graphic computing program like Blender, GPU works the best as it needs more graphical computation power. Click on create an image and wait for a while till the image is created. Finally, boot the image. Once that's done, just click on connect and this will download a client app. Just open it and done. You can now use a high-end remote PC. Once you are done with your work, just shut down the PC and all the work will be saved safely on their server. If you want to transfer files, you can either use Google Drive or you can use their remote drive application to transfer files from your system to the remote PC and vice versa. Next I added some rocks and different assets for populating the scene. Also in the point distribute node, you can change the seed value for changing the arrangement of the assets. Next I added some more assets and crank up the value of density for grasses. Now we need to add water surface in the middle. Enter the sculpt mode and slightly sculpt the plane in the downward direction. Next is to add a plane and scale it up. Now select the plane and under material section click on new to create a new material. Make the roughness value to be 0 and keep the metallic value at 1. Now since the water will be still, I am not making complex node graph for adding waves and distortion in water. Also add some water plants near the lake manually. For removing the grass near the lake area, first we need to disable geometry node under settings for smooth weave port. Then go to weight paint mode, select the subtract brush and clear out the area near the lake. After that you need to render the sample image, find what's going wrong in the scene and perform some trials and errors until you get your desired results. For adding some depth of field in the camera animation, First add an empty near the focus point, then click on camera and in camera panel, under depth of field, select the focus object as that empty. Now you can play with the f-stop value to increase the depth of field. The lower will be the value of f-stop, the greater will be the depth of field. And also added some basic camera moving animation in the scene. And finally render the animation. So that's how I made this animation in Blender. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and consider subscribing to my channel to never miss the further update. Also comment down which part you like the most. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.